Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a sales data report and then embed that report um, within your website. So here I am in um, BERT, um, the, the report designer, and I'm going to first just create a simple chart here. I have all my data sources connected um, to a SQL database and I've shown you how to do that in previous videos. So let's go here and insert a chart. Well, let's just do a bar chart. Let's select our data. Um, I'm actually going to use the sales data cube that we created. And let's make this sales year to date and let's show the territory name and so since we're using this cube we should this should allow us to have a chart that um, we can then drill down into and from the territory and show the individual sales person that's responsible for the sales in that sales territory let's format this a little bit I need a legend um, Take that title off. Actually, let's make the cells. And I want to finish that. All right, so here's our. Um, report. Um, so let's test it out. All right, great. Okay, so now we have the report. Um, we've we're testing it in our browser here. Um, and so now let's save it and upload it to our reporting portal so that other users can now view the report. Um, so it's saved. Um, so now let's go to our reporting portal. I'm just going to upload it to um, this particular directory. And this is our sales.rptdesign file. Okay. All right, here's our report. Awesome. So, as you can see, you can drill in um, to a specific territory, for example, Canada, and then you see the dollar amounts that make up from for the individual salespeople um, that are in that territory. I'm gonna drill back up, and so now. We want to take this report and we want to embed it in our website so that we can just allow other users um, to go to our website um, and we could give them a login um, and they could then run the report. Maybe this is an executive sales report or something like that. And so in order to do that, um, we want to link to this page and we just copy this HTML. Um, and then, literally, I just pop that in. A, you know, depending upon what your website is, um, I'm just popping this into a, a text file and saving it as salesdata.html. And then I'll upload that to my my um, web server and now we can go to our browser and or have anybody go to their browser and type in your website and then salesdata.html and you can see this is just rendered directly from your website now 
um, and they don't have to actually go to your actual reporting portal. Um, you know, of course, you could. This is just an HTML file, so you could put in a your logo or um, pull in your theme or whatever. I just did something real simple here, and again, you can drill in. I actually need to turn on interactivity here. Um, you can drill into Canada again. You can see it's 4.9 million, um, and then now I see my salespeople that make up that 4.9 million. I can drill back up, and so you could give this to a. Uh, your individual salespeople or maybe executives. Um, so th this could be a variety of reports, and we're going to do um, different reports to show. But it could this be an aging report um, uh, for executive to show um, what's owed in receivables? Um, basically, anything.